By pushing a national sales tax, Republicans are giving Democrats a belated but huge Christmas present. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. New House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy has promised a vote on a proposal called the Fair Tax. The Fair Tax would abolish the IRS and replace the federal income tax with a national sales tax of 30%. Payroll taxes for financing Social Security and Medicare would also get the axe. The national sales tax would be collected by the states, most of which already have a consumption levy. Proponents rightly say that getting rid of the income tax code with all of its monstrous complexity would rid the economy of a deadly and corrupt burden. Compliance would also get better since you can't duck a sales tax as easily as an income tax with all the dodges available. But the fair tax has serious problems. The biggest one is political. At a time of deep worries about rising prices, imagine the reaction of most people to the prospect of having to pay a 30% sales tax. Such an exaction would add an extra $125,000 to the purchase of a typical house, $10,000 or more to buy a new car. Stressed consumers would have to lay out thousands of additional dollars for gasoline, heating, and electricity bills. Ditto for homeowners and auto insurance premiums, not to mention health care costs. Already, starting with President Biden, Democrats are lambasting this tax as a huge hit to most consumers and a giveaway to the rich, who need to spend only a small portion of their wealth on necessities. Proponents counter that the abolition of the federal payroll tax and income tax would mean additional take-home pay, but that would still leave most people hurting. Fair tax advocates have a solution. Each month, Washington would send a check to every household to help pay the tax levied on necessities. To get the rebate, a household would have to file with the government the names of each resident and their social security numbers. The initial cost of this could come to more than $1 trillion a year. But politicians wouldn't be able to resist boosting these payments when elections come around. These payments would become a backdoor way for a guaranteed national minimum income. Now what would that do to labor force participation? There still would be a need for a national bureaucracy to ensure collection of the sales taxes from states and to combat fraud. For example, a sales tax is not supposed to apply to business-to-business -business transactions, but some people will set up an ostensible firm that can be used to pay for personal expenses and avoid the tax. Then there's the humongous danger that, like most states and countries, will end up with both an income and sales tax, unless the 16th Amendment to the Constitution which allows Washington to impose an income tax, is repealed. The GOP is playing with fire here. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.